so this mobile required a gmail verification which i don't know so what how can i bypass this i will show you this is this type of lenovo you can see it clearly from this angle so let's see how we will do this how to bypass this let's start from the beginning so here we have to do this then come to another here and type something and come here to assist okay here we will not thanks and uh, we will uh, try to download apex launcher here okay now here we, i will select you see you can select chrome as well but that is a little bit uh, difficult because the download option is hidden so you will wait uh, until the file is downloaded and in uc browser you can see how much your file is downloaded so i select uc browser okay will take some time to load now I will download it so here we can see how much file how much downloading is left and in Chrome we can't see this so I selected um, a UC browser in other devices we don't uh, have uh, uc browser uh, uc browser customly installed but in the, but in this device i found it so i used it which is very easy and i will show you what uh, you have to do next it's very simple in this phone as compared to other phones by the gmail bypass is easy in this phone so so my file is now downloaded and i will uh, select install then it is saying that installation is blocked so i will come here uh, come down to unknown source and i will open it then we'll go back to the options and i will install this apex launcher if you do not understand anything uh, in this video you can ask in comments i reply very fast so don't worry and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel Jalal Salim so it will give me uh, help so now we will select open so after this all the steps are easy select next so we will get into the menu like this what is this add home screen now we have to download another app uh, which is called uh, <clears throat> whatever select anyone you can select any launcher right uh, in here but I select Apex because the mobile is not totally totally bypassed so I have to download another app which is uh, called quick charter maker quick Q you I will put some uh, links uh, in the description so you will download it easily Q U I C A quick S H O R T okay so here it is and I will download it And I will wait uh, till this download. I will install it. Here you have to be a little careful. I will open this app, okay? And I will search here for Google G double O G L E. Now, uh, we will wait for because this mobile is slow so I will wait a little longer and if this this search is not coming so I will 
customly uh, find this which is Google uh, I don't know what is it, the full name but uh, now I will tell you Google account manager okay so when you open this Google account manager you have to kind five uh, so this this menu is the the one which I opened okay so now I have so many options here so I will count one two three four five and the fifth option I will select the fifth op option then I will uh, click on the try okay now here they require password so I will uh, come here to the three dots of menu sign in browser sign in okay okay and here I will uh, put any gmail account with so let me uh, enter it you can enter it any any of uh, your gmail so let me enter it so after entering uh, uh, the email uh, this screen will appear again and we have to do nothing else and uh, we will now restart our phone okay It will take some time, so I will pause the video. You can uh, fast forward this uh, this uh, this this part of the video because I don't know how much uh, time this logo will take. If you have uh, made uh, till this, so your mobile is totally bypassed. I mean, uh, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, we will just uh, have to restart uh, our device. See, uh, from the previous uh, options, now we have something different because we have bypassed it. So we will do next, 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 and this is the phone which we are getting. Whatever you want to select uh, a browser uh, a launcher for your phone now come to now this part is easy search setting come to backup and reset mm, factory data re factory data reset and here you have to restart your phone erase everything and good to go your phone is ready to use I'm there on the screen hello so now uh, as you know after restoring a phone it take uh, a little longer than normal restart so uh, I think this this restore will take uh, nearly seven to eight minutes so after that you will uh, having a brand new OS phone so that's all that's all the video if this video is workful for you and your mobile is by fast by, by after this video so please subscribe my channel and like this video if you don't understand anything ask me in comments Thank you, Allah Hafiz.